Tyler Hawes all ran into these issues, which is incredible. So that's one of the better feuds. Well done on that one. Well played on that one. Uh, a guy who's playing well on the BYU baseball team is Brian Sue. He's now in Studio B, I believe, for the first time ever. Brian, what's up, man? Uh, not much. Just getting ready for, to fly to Portland. You leave a little bit later today, and uh, we, we've talked about last week. We made a, a big deal about Mike Littlewood's words. This is a must-sweep series. How uh-huh. satisfying was it to sweep the series? Oh, extremely satisfying, especially the way we did it. I think, all th- well, we had two walk-offs, and then the last game we had – or we scored the game-winning run in the eighth inning. So, I mean, broke their hearts, but we'll take three wins any day of the week. <laughs> when when your coach is saying it's a must-sweep, what type of motivation does that add as a player? Um, Hard to say because it adds a little bit of pressure, but I guess pressure in certain instances is a good thing as long as you use it the right way. And, I mean, we already knew that ourselves. We were 3-6 and six heading into the week in WCC play. And after making that regional last year, there's no way we didn't want to make the at least the conference tournament this year. So we uh, we're motivated ourselves too for sure. You're batting 346, 21 RBIs. You've had a fantastic season and really emerged. Kind of walk us through your time at BYU because your freshman year you played sparingly, and then I believe you get an injury. What's the story there? Uh, well, freshman year I uh, I started the first couple series, but then. Uh, I'll attribute it to nerves. Nerves took over a little bit. I struggled the rest of the year, and then um, that was freshman year. Then I come back last year, and um, I start opening day again, but then I had a torn labrum. So then it was a bit tough playing uh, third base, throwing the ball across a diamond. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm playing first base this year. Yeah. yeah. So so how'd, how'd you make the jump from hitting 182 as a freshman to 400 <laughs> last year, 346 this year? That's a big leap. Um. I mean, biggest thing I think is just working with uh, our hitting coach, Trent Pratt, every day. Or not every day, but every other day, at least, in the cages. Every day sounds better, though. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) We'll we'll say every day. Working with Trent Pratt every day in the cages, just fine-tuning my swing, like just getting, uh, I guess, good advice from a former pro. Yeah. See, here's the thing about Brian. Brian, if if he's not the best – He's one of the best bunters on the team. <laughs> so, like, what goes into being a really good bunter? Um, and how much pride do you take in the fact that you, you've you proven yourself pretty good at that role? Actually, it's funny you bring that up. I've actually struggled with bunting this year. I think I'm 0 for 4, 0 for 5 on the year now. Jason, Which is, why you got to bring that <laughs> no, no, no. up now? Which is, but it's Come on, great. man. You ask anybody on the team, and you ask who's the best bunter. Almost everybody will say Brian. Okay. Oh, didn't know that. Uh, I mean, biggest thing is getting your eyes behind the barrel and then soft hands and then getting it fair. Yeah, can't really explain it other than that. Sacrificing for the team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sacrifice brings forth the uh, the runs, right, in this case. Uh, Brian Sue, the first baseman on the BYU baseball team, is on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, last week was a pivotal series, an important one. Mm-hmm. Now you play Portland as you try and make the top four. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the conversation been like this week after last week's sweep? Um, at least between the players, uh, biggest thing we're just saying to each other is just keep it going. Like, use that momentum heading into this week. Like, even though we're away, we won't have the home fans there. Uh, just, I guess, stick to the course. Yeah. Did you discover something against Santa Clara that wasn't there? Um, not me personally, but that might be a question for the coaching staff. I, Whatever it were. <laughs> yeah, because Mike did, was pretty fired up, right? There was a yeah, team meeting. He definitely. was fired up. Uh, that know, is true. And, and he calls it a must sweep. So maybe you uh, rekindled the flames of something from earlier in the season. Who knows? I guess maybe it did uh, force us to focus up a bit more. Hmm. Yeah. Should he say it again? <laughs> um, just keep it going. Would, that lose, <laughs> would, that, would, that, would it lose its, uh, its momentum but constantly saying it? Uh, I guess it depends on which player you're talking about because he called out a couple of guys in the meeting, but then – yeah, <laughs> depends on who you are. You have a very interesting story, and one that I, I know some people are aware of, but a lot of mm-hmm. people may not be. You suffer from seizures. I do. So, first of all, what is what has that been like for you as an athlete throughout your life dealing with seizures? Um, so, they actually started my sophomore year of high school. So, by now, I've gotten pretty used to it. But then... Um, 
it's less with playing sports, more with life uh, in terms of what it affects because I'm not allowed to drive. Like, I avoid caffeine, alcohol, all those things. I don't go to movie theaters, stuff like that. So, like, sports is almost uh, like an escape from that, I guess. Mm. So it's nice being able to come to the baseball field, get my body moving, just play the game or go play basketball, which my coaches probably don't like me doing. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it affects life, I think, a lot more than just sports for me. Well, and if if I remember correctly, I believe it was Coach Littlewood that, that had mentioned, or, or somebody had mentioned that you actually, because you've kind of you've got a pretty good uh, grasp on on the situation, you mm -hmm. can kind of actually feel some of the early signs that something may be happening, and, and you can say, "Hey guys, maybe I, maybe I need to come out of a game or, or something along the line." You have a pretty good handle on it right now. Yeah, yeah, it's I they call it an aura where you feel kind of funky before one happens. So then there's been, a, there's been a few instances this year already where, I guess, especially double headers, where I'm a bit worn out in the second game, where I'll go up to coach, be like, hey, uh, can you put someone in for me? Like, I need to rest the rest of the game. Yeah. There may be, uh, you know, younger athletes watching this who mm -hmm. suffer from seizures. What mm -hmm. advice would you give them as they try and pursue kind of what you've done, which has become uh, a good Division One athlete? Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest thing, well, get your sleep. That's a big thing. And make sure uh, you eat regularly, keep your blood, blood sugar levels right. And uh, I think the biggest thing that's helped me is uh, taking deep breaths regularly. That helps calm my body and mind down. That's good advice for everybody. Like that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm going to take that into account for sure. <laughs> Brian Sue is on BYU Sports Nation. Do you get a chance when you go on these road trips to places like, say, Portland to uh, see some things? Or it is, is it all business to go in to play baseball? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. It's mostly business for us because uh, even when we visited Hawaii earlier this year, um, like, yeah, we visited Pearl Harbor and uh, the PCC, Polynesian Cultural Center, but we were there for five days, I think, and I only got to go to the beach once. Oh, come on. So <laughs> plan on doing that more than that, but that's how it is. Yeah, your yeah. senior year. Make sure you take advantage of that. You're yeah, junior definitely, now, right? definitely, yeah. Yeah. for sure. We appreciate coming in. You're, fascinating story of how you've dealt with seizures and how you've uh, gone from hitting 182 to <laughs> 400, you know, which is pretty awesome. And uh, this team's kind of rolling after last week. So mm -hmm. we appreciate the time. We would like your signature on our flag, uh, if you don't mind. Sounds good. Yeah, you can set it anywhere yeah. you like. Cool. Ryan Sue, the first baseman for the Batcats, as we mentioned. Uh, baseball series at Portland. They leave today. Starts tomorrow night, 9 Eastern. Here, the whole series on BYU Radio. Yeah, that's right. Let's give them the, uh, the BYU Sports Nation And the BYU Sports Nation karma, of course. Yeah, yeah Brian.